we have obtained a wave equation for the acoustic perturbation. In practice, this equation is little used because we usually do not handle acoustic equations in the time domain, but rather in the frequency domain. And so we are going to transform that equation, the wave equation, into another equation, uh, which is called the Helmholtz equation. The wave equation is, the is in the time domain, and the unknown is the pressure signal everywhere at each point in space. The Helmholtz equation uh, is in the frequency domain, and the unknown is the pressure spectrum at every point in the domain that we consider. The pressure signal is real, is a real physical quantity. Remember that the sound spectrum is complex because each and every value contains two informations, the amplitude, which corresponds to the amplitude of the signal, and the phase uh, of that of the given uh, frequency component. So we start with the uh, wave equation and we simply take the Fourier transform of that equation. And the term, the derivative with respect to space is unchanged, but the derivative with respect to time will give us twice a coefficient omega so that we end up with an equation where instead of having a factor uh, 1 over c square, we now have a factor omega square over c square, and omega divided by c is the wave number, so we usually write this equation Laplacian of p plus k square p is equal to zero. Uh, this is the Helmholtz equation, and this is the equation we are going to solve. We have transformed the wave equation into the Helmholtz equation, but we can also transform Euler's equation, this equation that we haven't used so far, which relates the pressure gradient to the time derivative of the velocity. Um, and again, we apply, we simply apply the Fourier transform to that uh, equation, and we obtain an equation that we are going to use over and over in the course that directly relates the velocity to the pressure gradient. You see here that the velocity, the acoustic velocity, so the spectrum of the oscillation velocity of a particle in a given direction is simply equal to I divided by rho omega times the pressure gradient or the derivative of the pressure in that direction. In vector term, you would say that the velocity vector or the, ve the velocity spectrum vector is equal to I divided by rho omega times the gradient of the pressure field.